Welcome to today's show, everybody. I hope you're gonna have a great Friday today. We, of course, have our usual omnibus day today. So the challenge is bigger than usual. We've got back-to-back -back Monday to Thursdays exercises. So please try and follow along with them all if you wanna challenge yourself. But don't forget, if you need to, take a rest. Right, let's check out what we got up to on Monday. I would say that if the only way you can do some exercises from home, then that's much better than doing nothing. Even if you're just sitting in your chair, move your arms and legs and it's, you get fitter the more you do. Welcome everybody. Today we've got some exercises that are going to work our upper body. So I've got a set of dumbbells, Helen's got some cans, everyday items that you can uh, take from your kitchen and um, Susan's going to be doing the exercise without the um, resistance to start with. So we're going to stick or stand nice and tall, chest proud. We're just going to begin with a bicep curl. So we're going to work single arms. So we've got one arm and then the other. We're keeping the elbows close to the body and just bringing that weight up to one shoulder and then up to the other side. How does that feel? Is that okay? I'm gonna pass these over to Susan now so she can have a feel what it's like with those dumbbells. Keep going, there's no need to stop. So you can use whatever weight you want to use. Should we do one more each side? How does that feel? Brilliant, well done, okay. So our next exercise is going to work our wrists. So if we can just stretch one arm out in front. So we've got that long arm, we're nice and tall again. We're just gonna drop that wrist down and then lift up. So the arm stays nice and still. These sort of exercises are gonna help us as we open doors, close doors, as we take jars, lids off. So all about opening and closing, building that strength up in the wrists. How does that feel? Okay, it's quite hard, isn't it? And then we're going to bring that into the centre and turn the wrist over. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drop that wrist down. This is quite hard. You feel it down the arm and then lift back up. So again, with or without the weights, you choose. Do a few with and then do a few without if you need. Stop when you need to stop. One more. And now we're just going to change to the other side. Do you want to have a go with your weight this time? Brilliant, okay. The other side, nice long arm. Let's just take that wrist down and lift. So it's just building up that strength. Really good if you've got arthritis in those joints as well. How does that feel, Susan, with the weight? Is that okay? Brilliant. And then we're just going to flip that arm over again. So gently turn over. Remember, it's just that wrist we're working. Drop it down to start with and then lift back up. I can really feel that one. Excellent. Should we just do two more? Brilliant. Release that down. Well done. That's a difficult one, that one. So this exercise is all about upper body strength. So we're just going to take the arms down by the side. If you're standing, stand nice and tall. If you sat, sit tall in your chair. We just lift those arms out to the side, hold them for a second there, and then gently release back down. You can practice some nice breathing here as well, breathing in through the nose, blowing it out. That's great. Are you breathing with me? Yeah? Good. Just a little hold at the top. Brilliant, then release that down. Give those arms a little shake. A great job again. That was great. Fantastic exercises there from Monday. Right, let's not hesitate at all. Let's head straight over to Tuesday and see what we got up to this week. Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be doing some stretching exercises. You can use your seated version or your standing version. Just choose where you want to be. 
We're going to look at stretching the side to start with. So if you're on your chair, just lean down to the side. If we stood up, we just keep our knees nice and soft. Gentle stretch down and then back to the centre. And then down to the other side. Back into the middle. And again, we'll just keep that going. Just feel that stretch down the side of the body. And let's take it one more each side. That's great. Now, if you feel that you can, lift that hand up. Exactly the same reach to the side. Don't have to add this one in if you don't want to. You can just keep going with the other exercise and then change to the other side. And you feel that stretch? Yeah, down that side of the body. And again, each side. And the other side. That's great, well done. Excellent, back into the middle. And now we're gonna think about just working through that waist. So we're gonna look over your shoulder and then back into the center and look over the other way. Brilliant. And again, each side. And we're just waking up that waist. Excellent, well done. Ease those shoulders back and down. Okay, so if you're sat on your chair now, you can shuffle a little bit forward if you want to, because we're gonna stretch out these legs. So we're gonna think about the calf to start with. So if we stood up, we're just gonna put our heel on the floor in front, pull those toes up towards the face, and you should feel a stretch in that calf muscle, yeah? And then we're gonna put the foot flat on the floor, and then you're going to hinge from your hips. If you either stood up or sat down, just lean that body forward. And now can you feel that tighten up down the back of that straight leg? We're stretching out that hamstring. Bring that back up. And then we'll just change to the other side. So we'll take flat foot out in front and feel that stretch as you pull that toe up towards the face in that calf. Place the foot flat on the floor, then hinge from the hips, lean that body forward. And then we get that stretch down the back of this straight leg. Excellent, bring that body up. Place those feet together and then just take those arms out in front. Part those shoulder blades and push those hands out and we get that stretch across the top of the back. And then if you gently nod your chin towards your chest, that's going to take that stretch into that neck. And lift that head and this is going to be our last one. So we'll take the hands just on the outside of the chair or into the small of the back if you stood up. Roll those shoulder blades together so we stretch out the front of the chest. and release that down. That's great work, well done. Thank you so much Liz for those exercises there. That was great to see and easy enough to follow along with, which is brilliant. You can fit them in at any point throughout your day. Right, let's head straight over to Wednesday and see what we got up to. The biggest benefit I get from exercise now is because I have low back problems. The exercise helps with that. I feel great the next day. I love exercise. I just try and do as much exercise as I can. Hi there, my name is Sue and we're back here in the Parish Hall in Sedgefield. Today's move is, is sit to stand. So really good functional move that getting us out of chairs, up and down out of a car seat, a bus seat, a move that we have to do in our everyday life. So we, again, we're gonna come forward on the chair. So if I could ask you just to sit away from the back of the chair, the feet start at hip distance apart. And then I'm just going to ask you to holding onto the chair, just to get ready for this, because you might have been in that chair a while. It's just to simply shift the weight from side to side. 
We can just do that a couple of times. And maybe take the weight to just shuffle back in your chair and then bring it forward. And again, just holding on to the chair here. And the idea of this move is not only is it very functional because we need to be able to get up and down out of chairs, but it's also going to be great for strengthening the muscles in the legs and lower body. So very useful. So we're just going to do that a couple of times. And then I'm coming forward. Now, I'm going to bring my feet slightly back, but I want the heels to stay on the floor so that we're not going so far back with the feet that the heel lifts up. I want those feet nice and firmly planted down. And again, keeping them at hip distance apart. So a slight lean forward, and then see if you can just lift the weight off the chair and then release it back down. Okay, maybe we'll try that one more time. So I've got a slight lean forward and I just have a little lift up and then lower it back down. If that is okay, then we're gonna have a go at standing. If you are at home, it might be a good idea for your, to ch your chair to be behind a kitchen unit or a table. So if you do feel a bit wobbly when you stand, you've got something to grab hold of. Otherwise, we're gonna have a go at coming up. Are we ready? Are we good? So I'm going to lean forward here and on three. One, two, three, we're going to bring ourselves up to standing. So brilliant. Before we sit down though, really important is just to touch the back of the chair with your leg. And then we come back down. It's very often, especially if you're on a slippy floor, it's very easy to knock that chair back and it become a real slip rock hazard. So let's do that again. I'm going to come forward and we're ready again. One, two, three, up, touch the chair and then lower back down. We're away now. Are we ready? One, two, three, we're up, touching the chair and lowering back down. So we're going to keep going with that now. Coming up onto your feet, touch the chair and then lower back down. So we can stay in the chair. You can push off from the chair or Anne is demonstrating how taking it a little bit further without the need to hold on. So if you feel that little bit stronger, you can take it to that. And we're trying to build up for about five to 10 of these if you can. So we're coming up and then touching the chair to lower back down. So you can have that little push up as long as you touch the chair to come back down. And again, let's come up. And you might feel as well your heart rate starting to just come up a little bit with this, which is really good as well. And then down. And can we do one more? Brilliant. Touch the chair. Let's lower it back down. Have a sit back in your chair. Thank you very much for joining. Some fantastic exercises there from Sue and her team in the Parish Hall over in Sedgefield. Right, let's see, last day Thursday. Can we keep going? I hope so. Let's see what we've got. Exercise is really good, it improves my breath, my physical stamina and my muscles and at the same time it is good for my psychology, so it, it, it works both ways. So today we're going to be doing some exercises to work on our hands. Um, I think sometimes we forget about exercise in our hands, we tend to concentrate on our arms and our legs. So we're going to show you some exercises that are going to help to strengthen up your grip. Now we're going to be using something like this today. These are just some old cloths that we've got, um, but you can use anything. You can use a dishcloth, a duster or a tea towel. If you haven't got anything like this, don't worry. You can have a look at Hassan. Hassan's going to show you that you can still do the exercises without a cloth. Okay, if you've got something to hand, first thing that you're going to want to do is roll them up. So we're just going to make a nice tight sausage shape with our cloths. So you've got something like this. Right, so first of all, grip one side of your cloth with one hand and then bring the other one together. So this one is just, all we're going to do is squeeze the hands. Imagine you're wringing the water out of your dishcloth and we're just going to work it along. Squeeze, 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 squeeze until you get to one side. Then bring your hand close together 
and squeeze, 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 squeeze until you get to the other side. And as you can see, like Hassan's doing, doesn't matter if you don't have one of these, you can do the same squeezy exercise without the cloth. And let's try that one more time. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, now bring your hands into the center. And again, just like we're wringing out a dishcloth, we're gonna take one hand forward and one hand back. So we're gonna twist it. And then we're gonna go the other way. So you can see one wrist goes up and one, one wrist goes down. So not too far if you feel any uncomfortable feelings, any aches or pains, just stop. You're just going one way and then the other way. Okay, now turn your cloth sideways and this time we're gonna put one hand on top of the other. So we want those hands to be touching and we're just gonna relax the shoulders, elbows out nice and wide. And the first move we're gonna do is bringing the elbows together. So if you watch my hands, my hands are gonna twist. And as I twist my hands, my elbows come together. So we're gonna squeeze those elbows, get them as tight as we can, and you should feel that across your chest. Then loosen it and bring your elbows really wide. There we go, can everybody feel that? Squeeze them in. And out, so we're gonna keep them tight hold with that cloth. Elbows come in, squeeze, 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 and take it out. Now hold it here, just relax the hands again. This time we're gonna do a big pull. So this one is a really good exercise for if we're lifting heavy objects, like a heavy pan. So we're gonna try and separate our hands. We're gonna pull as hard as we can. One goes up and one goes down. If you don't have a cloth, you just need to sort of really squeeze those arms and keep them nice and tight. And relax, let's loosen that off. And let's do that again, pull, pull, pull. As hard as you can, keep going, keep going, keep going. And relax, can you feel that in your shoulders? Yeah, so let's try that on the other side. One hand up and one hand down. So the first exercise is bringing those hands together. So we let the hands swivel around, the elbows come in, squeeze them tight. And out, and one more time, squeeze them tight and relax. Well done, everybody. And that is it for this week. I hope you managed to follow along there with all the different exercises from Monday to Thursday. If not, don't worry, we will get there in the end. Don't forget to join us every single day here on Freeview Channel 7. We'll see you on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend.